about what the Lord is going to do in and through the women of new birth this entire month as you prepare for the reinvigorate uh, women's gathering. Um, So this morning, um, as I was preparing, um, as you all know, the word reinvigorate means to give new or renewed strength or energy to, to someone or something. And so my scripture focus this morning as we lay a foundation for our time of prayer is in Galatians uh, chapter 6, verse 9. It says, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. We shall reap if we faint not. The Lord spoke to me this morning and said that many of you are suffering from what I like to call faith fatigue, faith fatigue. And see, there's a space and time between God speaking to you, showing you vision, showing you his promises, uh, prophetically speaking over your life. And there's a space and time between God speaking and you actually seeing the manifestation over his word. And some of us, Uh, because we have not been careful in guarding our faith and our hearts in the middle. Somewhere in the middle we get weary. Somewhere in the middle we lose hope. Somewhere in the middle our faith takes a hit, Uh, because God never tells us how long the journey of the middle is going to be. And so some of us this morning are suffering from faith fatigue. Our faith in God is intact, but our faith in what he said about us Um, has lost hope over uh, a process of the journey. And so it's so important. That's why 1 Timothy chapter 6 and 12 says that we must fight the good fight of faith, laying hold onto eternal salvation, whereunto they are also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. We must learn how to endure the middle. And today I want to specifically pray for the women of New Birth, for God to reinvigorate your faith to believe him again. Come on, we got to dust off that dream. We got to dust off that vision. Uh, We've got to stop settling for mediocre Christianity because some of us have limited God's ability in our lives by what we have seen versus what God said he can do. Now faith is what the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen. And so I want to encourage you this morning, the fact that you are looking at something today that looks nothing like what God promised you is a great indication that you are right where God wants you to be. See, God specializes in the hard thing. He specializes in the impossible. He specializes in opportunities where you have your hands tied and your back against the wall. See, it's not, it, 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 God can't be glorified if you can do it yourself. God can't get the credit if it looks like you had your hands in the pot. And so I want to encourage your faith this morning to stop settling for safe Christianity. Stop settling for mediocre Christianity. Stop settling for the crumbs when God said you can have the whole loaf. I'm, I'm, I'm believing that God is raising up some radical women in this season who have the audacity to believe him at his word. I don't care if it looks dead right now. If God raised Lazarus, surely he has the ability to raise up your situation. There's a clarion call going out to women of faith to rise up in your faith, rise up in your authority, and take your royal inheritance You are a daughter of the king, and everything that your daddy said you can have, guess what? You have legal rights to it. You have the deed to a royal inheritance. So we must rise up, believe him at his word, take back our authority, take back our faith, believe him at his word again. God is reinvigorating our faith this morning. As we journey through this month of September, I'm believing that by the end of this month, by the time you, re- you get to the conference, God is doing such a new thing in your life. You're going to be so refreshed and ready to walk out the purpose and the call of God on your life. You're going to go from barely making it to my cup runneth over. You're going to go from a place to a place, from a place of visitation to habitation. 
thing. Can I tell you something, women of God? Having a spiritual church experience is not enough. You are designed to be a glory carrier, and we must stop waiting on people to pray us through when you have the ability in you to pray yourself through. You have everything that you need for life and godliness, and my assignment this morning is to just stir your faith again. Stir up the gift on the inside of you. Stir up the faith. Renew and restore your faith to believe again. God is giving new new strength, renewed strength to your faith for you to keep running on and see what the end is going to be. Isaiah 40 and 31 says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They're going to run and they're not going to get weary. They're going to walk and they're not faint. Women of God, it is time to soar in this season. Allow your faith to soar. Take off every restraint. Take off every restriction. Remove the doubt. Some of us have canceled out the plan of God for our life because of our lack of belief. And some of you have no problem believing God for everybody else. But when it comes to your own self, you have limited the power and the ability of God in your life. If God said it, you better take it to the bank. If God showed it to you, you better believe it will come to pass. God's word is bond. It is forever settled, hallelujah, in heaven. If he spoke it, come on, you better believe it's sure. His word will not return void, hallelujah. It will accomplish that which it was sent to do. Dust off that dream. Dust off that vision. Come on, stir up your baby again. Let your baby begin to breathe life, new life again. I don't know what you're believing God for. I don't know what you've been waiting for for a long time, but God says it's still going to happen. My word is bond. The plans that I have for you, they're to prosper you and not to harm you to give you hope and a future. Come on. I want you right where you are just to begin to build an altar of worship to the Lord. Come on, mark this day, September 2nd, 2024. Mark this day that God is renewing your faith in him. He's renewing your faith in his word. He's renewing your faith in what he has spoken over your life. I don't care how hard it looks. I don't care how dead it seems. If God be God, he is more than able. He is more than able in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day, for this is a day that you have made. And so we will rejoice and be glad in it. God, we're grateful to rise up this morning early to seek your faith. Our hearts are postured towards heaven to receive a touch from you. God, we press past every distraction. We press past our doubt and our unbelief. And, Father, all we want is your presence. So, Holy Spirit, we ask you to manifest yourself in such a way to your daughters of faith this morning. Let them have an encounter with you. Don't let them go through this month going through the motions of spirituality. But I pray even now, God, that there would be a glory encounter God, throughout this entire month, that their faith would be renewed, their hearts would be mended, their minds would be regulated, hope would be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you that your plans are sure, your promises are yes and amen. And Father, we cling to the hope of the cross this morning, that even if you don't do it, we know you're able God, I pray for radical faith in the hearts of your women this morning, that they would not settle for mediocre Christianity, that they would not settle for less than what you have promised them, that they would not settle for safe, God, but they would continue to press towards the mark. They would continue to believe you at your word. God, we know that you're more than able. You're more than capable. You are a God that does the exceedingly and the abundantly above all that we could ask or think, hallelujah. God, you will never be able to fail. You don't have it in you. 
And so, God, we thank you that because you are a God of victory, we are victorious in you. I come against that spirit of victim even now in the name of Jesus. I pray that their language would change, that that no longer being in lack would be their portion, that being in a place of victim would no longer be their language, God. I pray, God, even now that you renew in them, God, a strength, a hope. God, I pray that they would fight the good fight of faith, that they would cling to the hope of their salvation. God, I pray that whatever distractions come, they would be able uh, to cause those things that are not to be though as they were. God, I thank you even now that they have the ability in their mouth to speak what they believe to be true according to your word and your divine promises over their life. I pray that they take back their authority in you. I pray that they take back their weapon, for their worship is a weapon. I pray, God, that they would worship in the middle. God, that you would work on them in the middle, that they would endure the middle so that they can see the end and the promises and the manifestation of what you have spoken over their life. God, refresh us this morning. Holy Spirit, you said times of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. God, let there be an outpouring of your spirit in every home, in every car, God, wherever they are this morning on this prayer line. I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit would be released in them. God, let there be an outpouring of your spirit this morning. God, we don't need more stuff. We need more of you. We need more hope. We need more strength, God. We need to be renewed. Renew our zeal for you. Renew the hope of our salvation. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you, God, for the press in their spirit. God, that regardless of what they are going through, you will give them a press to continue on, that they will be more than conquerors. They will be overcomers in you. God, that their faith would be steadfast. Hallelujah. God, we thank you so much that your promises will not fall flat. But, God, we cling to the hope that you have given us. God, I pray even now that you resuscitate somebody's faith this morning. Hallelujah. Let there be a renewed vigor, a renewed zeal, renewed energy, renewed strength in you. God, I thank you, Lord, for the promises and the manifestation that are coming to your women. I pray for the entire New Birth community. I pray, God, that, Lord, you would do something special and new through this conference. God, let it not be just another conference, but let this be an encounter, Lord, that changes the trajectory of our bloodline. Thank you for calling us out. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for keeping us, God. And, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for generations to come being impacted by the yes of the leaders of this house. God, we thank you so much for all that you are doing in and through us. God, we trust you at your word. We believe you at your word. Come on, lift up a praise right there. We believe you at your word. Come on, we believe you at your word. We give you a fresh yes. We give you a fresh yes. We surrender our hearts again, God. Every area of our hearts, we submit it to you. God, any place of doubt and uncertainty, we submit it to the foot of the cross. God, we come against all doubt, fear, anxiety. We come against that spirit of anxiety even now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you heal someone's mind this week, that you restore their hope in the name of Jesus. We come against every mental illness as a result of our lack of faith in you. No longer will we give space to the enemy, and I serve the enemy. Notice even now that you have no jurisdiction in the minds of your women. We cast out all fear and anxiety in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare even now that we have a sound mind. We will walk with a sound mind. We will think with a sound mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you are worthy to be praised. You are highly lifted up. You can do anything but fail. We submit to the hope of the cross that by your stripes, hallelujah, we are healed. I declare wholeness in every area of our lives. We will not just be bold spiritually and weak physically, and we won't be healthy physically and weak spiritually, but we will be well-rounded women. 
We will walk in authority. We will walk in purpose. We will walk in strength. We will walk in the promises of God. We will be glory carriers. When we step into rooms, atmospheres will have to shift. Hallelujah. Atmospheres will shift because of our presence, because of the glory that's on the inside of us. Brother, I thank you for the press. Lord, someone this morning, it took everything in them to wake up and get on this call this morning, and I pray for that person today, God, that they would no longer be crawling into their promise, crawling into your presence, but I thank you, God, that they will get up and walk, that they will regain strength to their ankles, that they will regain strength to their knees, that they will walk with a new sense of confidence, hope, and boldness in you. God, we thank you even now for newness of life. Hallelujah. I thank you even now. Hallelujah. God, your promises are not limited to our own ability, but, God, we lean into your ability. We lean into your promises. We lean into your strength, your authority, your power, your sovereignty. God, you are not a limited God, but you are limitless. And so, Father, help our unbelief this morning. Those that have grown weary in well-doing, we thank you, God, for renewing their hope in you. Oh, God, resuscitate our faith this morning to believe you again, to trust you again. Father, forgive us for every time we have doubted. Forgive us for every time we have limited you. Forgive us for every time we have fallen short. God, help our unbelief this morning. God, we trust you at your word. We trust that you are more than able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask or think. And God, today, we mark this day in history. We are believing, hallelujah, for a move of God that this generation has not seen. God, there's so much going on in this world today, so many distractions so many interferences, so much that is attacking our faith, so much that is attacking our hope. But greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. Help us to be sensitive and in tune with what is going on in the world today. Help us to be sensitive to know that our faith doesn't have to falter, but we have authority in you. And so, God, no matter what this climate brings, no matter what this world will bring, no matter what adversaries and attacks will come, God, we thank you that we have all power and authority in you. Rise up, daughter of Zion. Rise up, mother. Rise up, sister. Rise up, auntie. Rise up in your faith this morning and take the mantle and the power that God has given you back. God has great plans for your life this morning, and I'm grateful that he is not through with you yet. There is more to come. There are better days to live, and eyes have not seen. Hallelujah. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has in store for you. Every promise that he has spoken for you. It's for you. You got to cling to the hope of the work for your life. It's for you. It's for you. Come on, just say that to yourself. It's for me. It's for me. Every promise in his word, it's for me. It's for me. It's for me. And so, Father, we thank you for this time of prayer. We thank you for this time of intercession. God, thank you for reinvigorating our faith this morning. Reinvigorate our hope to believe you at your word. You are a good, good father, and every good and perfect gift comes from you. And so, Father, we stand in posture of receiving this morning. We receive everything that you have for us. We won't limit your glory. We won't limit your authority. We won't limit your power or your ability. But, Father, we submit wholeheartedly, and we stand in the authority We stand in faith, we stand in hope to receive everything that you have for us. God, we love you this morning, hallelujah. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, and we give you all the praise. It's in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus we pray, amen.
Amen and amen.